Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hull City in Football Manager 2018. And uh, today we are playing Southampton and um, looking at the league table, Southampton is just behind us. And we are once again in a situation where if we win, we will stay ahead of them. But if we lose, they will overtake us. And uh, as you know, we are in a crazy situation. We are actually with a chance to get a spot in Europe. And that's insane considering we just got promoted. Definitely not what we predicted, but this is going to be a very tough game. Southampton is a quality team. Uh, at least on paper, Southampton is probably better than us. Since last episode, that great win versus Brest Brom, I played one game and it was actually a surprisingly good result. We lost, but look at this, we played Tottenham away and we only lost with one goal against two. And more interesting, if you look at statistics, yes, they dominated things, but still we played Tottenham away and managed to get 13 shots, seven on target. And we had as many clear cut chances as they had. And uh, we were actually, uh, at 1-1 for a long, long time. They managed to score the winner in the 81st minute. So we was definitely not far away from, from taking a point here. So even though we lost, I'm very pleased with, with this game and the way we played. It, yeah, like we played them away. We could have lost with like five goals, but no, the lads were uh, brilliant, stepped up and showed some passion. But yeah, today is Southampton. And looking at the, the schedule here, you can see there's not many games left. As you know, the last three games will be Liverpool, Man United, Chelsea. And uh, that's not going to be easy. Man United currently topping the table, Chelsea in, in second place. And we are playing two of the three teams away. So we need to get as many points as we can from these games be before that ending. Because uh, we're probably not going to take any points here. So hopefully we can do well. And some good news is actually Mr. Grujic... After almost four months out with an injury, he got uh, injured in the, in the middle of uh, December. Now it's um, April uh, the 7th. So he's been out for almost uh, four months. But now he's finally back and he's going to be on the bench for this game. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have him back here for, for the last part of the season. And because, um, I mean, he's been uh, he's, uh, our best player for, for his position. So it's, it definitely strengthen the team with the but having uh, him back. So, team talk, what do you want to say here? Uh, let's see. I mean, we could talk, as usual, talk about the last game because we, we lost the first game against them. Hopefully, we will uh, do uh, better this time. I mean, we are ahead of them in the, in the league table. But they are still probably favorites, even though we have the at-home advantage. So, yeah, game on. actually going to... I didn't take a look at their uh, lineup uh, in the in the earlier screen section. I'm gonna pause it as soon as we see the lineups here to see if there's some special names to keep track of. Because I don't know if they might have done any interesting signings during the January window. They're starting with the uh, Gabadinis already have a potential injury. That's um, ball from them. But other than that, kind of what you've expected. Pretty decent team, but I mean we have a pretty decent team. Too. So maybe, maybe, I mean, looking at statistics, they are creating more chances than us, but it's still early. Maybe we can overtake them. And here's Alberto Moreno with a free kick for Hendrickson. What will he do, Hendrickson? Trying to reach. Oh, that was a weak pass. It's intercepted, but Dawson, our captain, picks it up with a long, long cross, an early cross to nobody. Well, nobody, nobody, Southampton. So this was not what I expected when I saw this highlight starting with us with a free kick, but we have intercepted it once again. Where is this one heading? It's back and forth, back and forth. Oh my god, such a bad pass! Such a bad pass, come on guys. Now it's probably time to get worried. I'm just staring at the screen here. Where will this end? And it's, oh my god, it's going to be a goal for sure. Harrison and Southampton is one up. Jack Harrison. And oh my god, the highlight was so weird. It was back and forth, back and forth. And they actually missed a few uh, easy passes and took like an unnecessary bold cross and so on. Especially since I have the instruction for, for the player to, to retain possession. I use shorter passes. They definitely shouldn't have done those. Uh, I mean, if I was going like more direct passes, go route one, I would expect it. But not for retaining possession and shorter passes. You shouldn't really be giving it away like that. Like it uh, was unnecessary. 
Hawk is taking them. Not a single chance since that goal. Well, look, Forsen has said that Southampton gets one, but... And another one. And a potential injury for Gnabry. Not going to risk anything. Let's bring in Grosiski. And uh, I actually want to go to the tactics screen also, because I feel like we need to change things around a bit. We're going to bring up... Actually, let's go, let's go with three guys here at first. And then if it doesn't work, we're going to bring... Uh, Somebody up as an attacking midfielder. I always struggle to put somebody in the middle, but there it is. Then once Stewart, you want to focus on defense being in the ball winning midfielder. And like that. Because we need to uh, start push forward a bit. We have we had those two early shots and then we haven't had a single thing here during the second and uh, second half, the first half. Oh, we're definitely going to need to tell the lads now during during in the halftime whistle that we are we are displeased. We are. I mean, yeah, th this is not great at all. And, I mean, they only had like one real highlight, but that was enough for them. So go and tell the lads, where is your passion, lads? Do you want to win this match? And yeah, beautiful. The reaction was after. You all look fired up. And let's go with, uh, with this new formation for a little bit longer. See if we can start creating stuff. And if we can't, it's definitely time to change your own uh, formation and maybe in instructions. Maybe go attacking, because right now I believe I'm at uh, standard mentality. And oh my god, look at this. We have actually created a lot of chances here in the, in the beginning. So it looks like we are creating a lot of stuff, but we're still waiting to see that first real highlight for us. But instead, it's a highlight where Southampton has the possession. What's up with this? And that's like really crappy marking. That's such a bad marking. And it's going to be a corner. I was worried for a second when like everything stopped there was going to be a penalty. But no, it's a corner. But corner could be bad news also. And it's going to be is it another corner? Yes, it is. Really feel the pressure here. Lowen with a second corner. Goes far back into the pitch. Harrison into the box. And that's no problem at all for Johart. Definitely feel more secure with, with the heart in the back. He's done some decent saves in the last few games. Lost him with the cross and well, at least we are creating... I believe that was our first real highlight where it actually was a chance for us. So I'm pleased with that. Since we are creating chances even though we're not getting highlights, I think I'm going to keep this formation. La Padula out though. Kind of don't have any... I was considering subbing Hernandez, but then I remember I don't have any other striker on the bench. Could play with Bowen in that position, but I don't think that that would be great. I think I think we're gonna go try to see some guys that look frustrated. So Henriksen, let's bring in Gruig. Let's have Gruig make his comeback. And then since we already was forced to make an early sub because that injury gonna wait a little bit longer with the second one. But I feel it's time to go attacking. Clock is ticking away for us though. These shots is not getting us any real highlights, so we need to, to go in more attacking now. Definitely bring up Greek. I think we're going to bring Larson to this side. And we're going to use uh, Stewart. You're going to be uh, box to box now. We need you uh, to, to score your special goals that you do sometimes. Like that. Maybe even go with support. And uh, Definitely also go more uh, more direct passes, go and try to speed things up. Maybe try to exploit the middle, try to find the Gruyuk here in this position. And uh, let's see now, who's really tired? And um, we have one last sub to do. I believe it's Larson. Do you have any Gruyuk? Yeah, we could change him ace up with uh, Ranaga. Like that. 10 minutes, come on guys. Come on, actually, we could... We could uh, Go even more attacking, bring you guys up as as wing backs, and uh, we could even go route one. Come on, guys! The clock is just ticking, and we are creating shot after shot, but not a single highlight. What's up with this? I mean, look at this: ten shots, and they have twelve shots, and we see two highlights for the whole game. I feel like with with that many chances, but maybe he has a corner. So we are into extra time, and that's a full time whistle, and this is very disappointing, really disappointing. I like, I believe, like on paper, they were the favorites, but considering we are creating this many chances, I really feel like we should have been able to score once. So I'm very displeased with this one because this means uh, Southampton has overtaken us. We are down to eighth place, and. 
yeah, this was one of the few games we have left that we actually have a chance to win. So very frustrating. I'm going to tell the lads that I'm going to go aggressive here, saying that was unacceptable. Considering the current situation, considering that we are fighting for a spot in Europe, we need to do better. That was just not good enough. So let's take a look at the lead table one last time here. Yeah, we are still having a great season and we are already safe from relegation. Uh, fantastic, so much better. Everything is better than I expected. But when we are this close to a spot in Europe, this is frustrating. It is. But yeah, I believe that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.